Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alvin and uh, I'm a part-time reseller and as you can see from behind me, there's a lot of toys. Yeah, I've been collecting, I think like, whew, close to 15 years right now. And it's a little rant right now where I figured I'll just turn on the camera and then just tell you why if you're clicking on this video why collecting kind of sucks like for, for real man it's uh, don't get me wrong uh, toy collecting figure collecting anything that's collectibles I still collect it's the pain of uh, as you go along collecting over the years uh, as you have a long time collector I think you also understand where I'm coming at and maybe let's talk about the five reasons why collecting sucks lah, I guess because uh, in Singapore context to be frank because in Singapore uh, there's a few reasons why collecting especially when you're collecting carded figures or even loose figures for that matter it's just it's, it's, it's painful um, and the fact that it's an ongoing thing that I'm not sure uh, whether you agree or disagree comment down below uh, like the video if you think that what I said is true and if you don't think so, you can dislike the video uh, It's for all to, to comment um, to be very frank with you because yeah, collecting as the years go on is just uh, with technology and everything Yeah. Uh, anyway, let me just show you what I mean Well, as you can tell from over the years uh, I've been collecting quite a bit of things as you can see from my living room that I'm trying to pack and trying to sell almost all of it because quite frankly I've grown out of it I've really gotten the use of it I know um, the one thing that maybe we can talk about is uh, carded figures I guess let's let's say for instance as you can see I've got quite a bit of box figures and carded figures as you can tell uh, all these are as it is are all stored in this room over here uh, in boxes as you can tell and yeah as with items like this you can see uh, don't sorry about the noise at the back uh, they are having some leaf works and you can tell it's yellowed one of the main gripes in Singapore in particular uh, yellowing figures yellowing colored figures is just a thing uh, you might be wondering, yeah, it's exposed to the sun. It could be the reason. Yes, and I don't disagree with you guys, but let's, let's, let's have a look at something that I want to show you. Okay, uh, as with this carton box that I've opened not too long ago, and it's all saber tooths, this Marvel Select saber tooth, and it's all, as you can tell, it's still in the box, and it's all yellowed. Look at it. Yellowing cards. And it's in this carton box all this while. Uh, to say that it could be the humidity that factor into it, again, it's like a Singapore thing again, in humid climates, especially in Singapore, maybe even in Southeast Asia. I mean, in other countries like, you know, America and Canada, maybe you don't get this yellowing problem, but we do. We do get them yellowed and everything. And now uh, we're slowly selling them as I deem fit. Yeah, this is from CMD store, it's an exclusive. This saber tooth and yeah, yellowing colored figures. That's the reason why we don't be collecting kind of sucks in Singapore. Let's go on to the next uh, reason. The next reason why collecting kind of sucks in Singapore and possibly in other countries is even if the carded figures don't yellow and you can look at it, this is kind of looks like an okay figure to I mean box carded figure to look at. Look at this, the rubber bands they use has already disintegrated. Kind of amazing, huh? Look at it, it's disintegrating right before our very eyes. I mean, of course not, it's already done and dusted and that's why it's looking like this, the residue on this. <sighs> and then see, Igor, look at his arm. Where is his arm? There, look at the, the rubber area. I mean, of those, there's those that they don't use uh, this kind of uh, thing to hold the figure could be better but yeah that's reason number two the rubbers in figures over time will disintegrate so that's why uh, collecting in 
Singapore kind of sucks. I mean, in my context, of course. Let's go on to the next reason. This reason is a rare one, of course, um, but as you can tell, this card, the carded plastic, peeled off. As in, in our climate, it just came off. <laughs> it came off clean, folks. The, rub, the, the glue on it just disintegrated and we're left with a very clean cut on this. So it's from a carded figure became a loose figure. And as you can tell, the twisty on it still is still there. So that's the third reason. And of course, if you are wondering, this could be one of the rare few. Yes, you, you, you are not wrong. And let's show you what I want to tell on box also. Like for instance, this, this good old bad pot box that I kept for a very long. And you see, the glue just came off. I mean, of course you can glue it back, but still, you know, in our climate. I mean, you, if you want me to turn on the aircon, by all means, but you're gonna waste electricity just to keep your collection, you know, there and then hopefully it will stay in a good condition. Might not be the case. So that's one of the reasons why collecting kind of sucks in Singapore. Okay, the other reason why collecting kind of sucks, uh, especially in a climate like Singapore, which is hot and humid, is, okay, for instance, this G.I. Joe Baroness, uh, which I think there's a new movie coming out called Snake Eyes, I think. Uh, this is a Comic Con exclusive 2009 of Baroness, and this figure looks okay, to be very frank with you, as you can tell. But if you notice very, very slightly that it's kind of flicking. If I'm not sure whether I can pull it off. It's not yet. Uh, but yeah, this kind of material, over time, it will flick. Uh, fox leather, what kind of material, what quality it is, I have no idea. And with Hot Toys, uh, which is one of the main collecting, uh, main collection in so many collectors in Singapore's uh, homes. To be very frank, collecting anything that has leather on it is bound to disintegrate. And I have statues and some figures like I'm gonna pull some pictures of it at the side that it flakes really bad. And of course you can kind of restore it somehow but uh, to have your collection just flake over time is pretty ridiculous. And I think it's not this climate, uh, it's a climate issue. It's just, it's just, just the way it is uh, because of the material they use. But yeah, this type of material you, you might wanna see. It's, I think it's, the black is coming off. You can tell it's coming off. So yeah, that's one thing. Uh, collecting, especially 12 inch figures, one six collectors, yeah. I mean, of course you can argue the fact that it's, it is what it is, but you're supposed to play with it. But after play, it will disintegrate. So that's that. Okay, the last reason, over the course of the few years collecting, there's so many variants of the same, uh, like for instance, Transformers, for instance, from Hasbro. Hasbro holds the license to Transformers and Transformers itself has so many different versions of Optimus Prime down the road. Uh, take, I mean, of course, like take for instance, Transformers Generation, which I have here. Transformers Generation is one of the main line that people mainly go after. And over the course of, I think lately, uh, there's the newer versions of you know, Scourge itself. Scourge is one of the bad guys in Transformers. There's so many versions of him. And the newer versions are generally much, much better looking, much more better in transformation, much more better in design, everything. And then the older figures tend to, I mean, if you want to talk about investment value, yeah, um, trying to sell them uh, back and to even get some money back, it's gonna take a while. Uh, and it might not even, you might not even get back what you paid for, which in a collecting sense, you shouldn't because you're going, you, you enjoy the, the collection as far as it goes. But of course, you, you do hope that some items do hold its value over time. And with collecting over the years, I've realized they don't. To be frank, they don't. 
Um, there are a few instances that you can tell I'm trying to sell items here. I'm going to sell those in, in, in bulk, bulk purchase to the locals in Singapore to give them something back. To be frank, I already kind of enjoyed them. It's really been with me for so long. And then there are items that, you know, you can sell on eBay. That's why I'm selling items on eBay instead of my local like Carousel or Facebook Marketplace because it's it makes common sense to sell there. The, the market is bigger, uh, the pricing is there. Then you have Carousel who, who, who kind of think that they can get back whatever they paid for. Uh, like for instance, I'll, I'll show you something else. Like for instance, um, this Blair Witch movie minutes. I love this figure back in the day. It's one of those figures that I hold dearly to me because it was also a variant of this Blair Witch uh, movie minix. And back then, the pricing on this was pretty high. Now, of course, down the road, as collectors uh, got more and more things to buy, I guess, uh, or there's more newer versions of uh, newer figures that NECA or McFarlane makes, it doesn't hold value anymore. And you can't, maybe you can't even sell this at the price point that you think you can. Might even have to lose money on this. So from a reseller point of view, toy collecting doesn't hold value. Uh, there are a few, again, rare instances, but for what it's worth, like for instance, this figure also yellowed to oblivion. <laughs> look at it, it's so yellowed. Oh my God, look at it, it's so yellowed. Again, partly because maybe it was exposed to the sun. In Singapore, it's always sunny, so that's that. Lah. So anyway, thank you for, for this rant of mine. Uh, comment down below what is your collection like um, and do you agree or disagree comment down below and i'll catch you in the next video i guess because this is just a rant of me trying to clear all my toys like all this i'm trying to clear them as i go along and then i'm trying to uh, i'm going to hit end of the year end of the year i'm trying to clear everything and then get back get back whatever i can from this collection and We'll see how it goes. And take care everyone. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.